Do you feel lucky? Maybe God has opened a door for you and blessed you in some way that you didn't expect. Our lesson today is about a time when God opened a door and it looked like the luck of the draw. I call it chosen by lot. Let's read our text, Luke 1, 8 and 9. Once when Zacharias' division was on duty and he was serving as priest before God, he was chosen by lot according to the custom of the priesthood, to go into the temple of the Lord and burn incense. To really understand this verse, you need to know the backstory. Zechariah was old and his hope of having a son was gone, but he had had a great life. He got to be a priest and serve in the temple in Jerusalem. He could not have known how his life would change the morning it was his turn into the service of God. All of the priests got their chance to serve in the kingdom, but it was the luck of the draw to see who actually would. Literally, they would draw lots to see which priest got to go into the temple and burn incense. Most priests would live their whole life and never get that chance. Today was Zacharias's big day. From our text today, I want you to observe five small words. He was chosen by lot. This looked like it was just the chance of the lot or the luck of the draw that that led him into the temple that day. But as Christians, surely none of us believe that it was just a chance. Certainly, God worked behind the scenes so that he got to serve inside the temple and meet a special angel. His service that day would change history forever. The angel announced to him the birth of a son. That son became John the Baptist, the one who would announce the coming of Jesus the Christ. Just as with Zacharias, you too are in a special place today. It may not feel like it. You may think that this is just a result of the happenstance of life. But how do you know that God hasn't worked behind the scenes to help you be where you are today. Chosen by lot is how God worked in Zacharias' life. Perhaps you too have been chosen by God. I hope that when this happens in your life, you may have enough faith to know it.